The opinions expressed in the video you are about to see are solely those of Botest.com and its test captain. Hi, Captain Steve for Botest.com, and today we're going to take a look at the Volvo Penta Stern Drive Joystick and see how it works in close quarters maneuvering and maybe some other applications as well. Now, it's important to note that if you want to get the Stern Drive Joystick on your boat, from a builder's perspective, there's nothing else that needs to be done. It takes no modifications to the hull whatsoever. It's only the components that need to be changed. Now let's go over some of the features of the joystick itself. First of all, it's a progressive joystick. That means that if you engage it just a little bit, it gives you just a little bit of power. If you engage it further, it gives you more power. It's a very useful feature, watch. Here we are moving just a little bit. And if I push it further, it adds more power. Same with rotating. If I just turn it a little bit, it gives you just a little bit of RPM to turn the boat. If I do it more, it adds a lot of power. That'll work in all spectrums of the joystick's position. Okay, now here's a spot that's no wider than this boat is long. Let's see if we can get it to fit right in there. Now, typically the problem is getting out of a spot like this. You've got no room to go forward and aft, so spring lines are useless. There are also two power settings on the back of the joystick module. The first one on the left activates it for docking mode. That's for when you want to come into the dock and you want just gentle maneuvers because you don't want to be coming into a dock fast. Let's see how that one works. Here is the reduced power setting. You can see we're moving very gently. That's how fast it moves. Let's put it in high power mode. This is for when you really want more RPMs. Why would you want that? When you're, say, holding position against a strong current waiting for a bridge to open or uh, trying to hang next to a mooring against a high current or high winds. Let's see how it works. Now you can see I've got quite a bit more movement, much more energy going into the maneuver. If you look at the RPMs, you can see I'm maxing out at about 2,000 RPMs. And now look behind us, how we're moving, look at the bubbles next to us. Now, one other thing that's very important to note is that you need to push a button to activate it. That way you're not going to accidentally bump the joystick and do some maneuver that you didn't want to do. Or one of the kids isn't going to lean up against it and start moving the boat. You have to activate the joystick. That's a very important feature and a nice feature. There's a very important aspect as an operator that I'm concerned about on joystick maneuvering. It works by independently maneuvering each of the outdrives separate from one another. So the concern for me is, how do you get them back to where you want them to be? And the answer is, once you shut the joystick off, they automatically center. Once you shut the engines off, they also automatically center. It's a very cool feature. That's our test of the performance and capability of the Volvo Penta Stern Drive Joystick System. In my opinion, you can now have the close quarters maneuverability and joystick functionality which Stern drives in your smaller boat. For BoatTest.com, I'm Captain Steve. We'll see you on the water.